Welcome to the final episode in our warn series. Today we'll be making our viewing warns command. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, here I am in my text editor and sorry if my uh, voice sounds a bit scratchy. Uh, this won't be there for the next video, but yeah. So basically what we're gonna do, we have to view our warn somehow with for whatever's in the DB and yes I cleared it because yeah while I was testing I had to so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off real quick description equals and we're just gonna call view o users warning and then we can do something like commands dot honestly we can just actually just copy the one from up here and then do async def and do something like warns and then do ctx commands.context so yeah and we'd be doing type hinting for sham who clearly asked for it and then we're gonna do member next core dot member you already know that and then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do async with um bot dot db dot cursor as cursor and then we're gonna do await execute and we're gonna select two things reason and time as we mentioned over here so we have reason and the time from warns where user equals question mark and go equals question mark and then just yeah i'm gonna auto fill this and then we're gonna call whatever that is data so we're gonna do cursor await dot fetch all the reason that we're doing fetch all is we want to fetch all of the warrants from the user and not just one of them and we're gonna do if data if it even exists then what we can do is we're gonna we're gonna send this in an embed just so it looks a bit cleaner so i'm gonna do next core die embed once again if you're on discord.py or whatever you would just change this but and then i'm gonna call this title equals uh even f string list right remember not names or warnings and then i'm just gonna remove the color we don't need it uh, once again, this is just optional. Optional. This is purely aesthetic. So then we can also do war none, and this is just to count all the warnings. And then I'm gonna for loop through every single one by doing for table in data. And over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do something like I don't need to print anything actually. Warn num plus equals one, which will just add one to the tally here. And then do im em dot add underscore field and inside here I'm gonna do f um we're just gonna do warning so warning one warning two and then over here I can actually remake this entirely so for the value what we're gonna do is gonna first it's an f string and then the first one's gonna be just table zero right uh that's gonna be the first one in it so which is the reason so even if you want you can do reason is table zero and then we're gonna do another one which is date issued right and so for the issued issued and this one's gonna be a bit different we're gonna make use of discord's inbuilt timestamp feature so we're gonna use its syntax so we're gonna put uh, two of these little i guess um greater than equal signs and then we're gonna do t and then here's gonna be our epoch time, right? So int and make sure it's table one, like so. And then at the end of it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another um, colon and then do F, like so. And that's pretty much it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do await oh CTX, just send the embed. And then we can do else. And do await ctx that's in. So let's say and no warnings are found. We can just say no warnings found. And then lastly, what you want to do is pretty much nothing. We don't need to commit anything if you want to, just like to keep, I guess, consistently you can, but it's not required because we're not actually changing anything in the database. We're just fetching data from it. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this. And what you'll see is everything bought us up and ready so i'm gonna also open up my sqlite viewer just so i can view it from the side here and so yeah 
Okay, so here I am in my Discord, and right now, what I can do is help just to check the bots online, and then I can also check my warns, right? And, so I forgot, I need warns, glow, right? And I'll say no warning sounds because I'm not warned yet. Let's change that. So, warn, glow, bad, right? And then it has warned me. So now if I do warns at glow, then there we go. It will say warning one, reason bad, date issued, and then Sunday, July 10th. And this is where I am at currently, right? That's just when I'm recording. Yeah, I record a bit late. I can do another warning, even badder. And then if I check my warns again, or sorry, warns glow. Then now I have two warnings and so on and so forth, right? You can keep on going. And there you go. That is a warning chart for Discord.py or Nextcord or whatever you're using. And that's the end of the series. So I really hope you enjoyed. And until next time, those to go. See ya.